Good morning, grade 5. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So, we have come to the end of the chapter 12. So, we will see the questions from the revision station today. So, all of you please turn to page number 189 in your textbook. So, let's see the first question. Question number 1. Complete the table. So, here you can see a table. A few items are given on the extreme left. The cost price of a few items are given. The selling price of a few items are given. Then the profit and loss of a few items are given. So, you have to complete the table by finding out the missing details. So, the first one, a pen. The cost of a pen. The cost price is given and the selling price is given. See, the cost price is rupees 8 and the selling price is rupees 10. So, is it a profit or loss? The selling price is more than the cost price. So, it will be a profit. And how much is the profit? The selling price minus the cost price. That is rupees 10 minus rupees 8. Which is equal to rupees 2. So, let's write 2 in the column for writing profit. Now, let's see question number 2. Water bottle. The cost price is 20 rupees. The selling price is not given. And the profit is given as 5. So, how do we find out the selling price? The profit is given, which means the selling price will be more than the cost price. So, let's add the profit to the cost price to find the selling price. So, that will be equal to 20 plus 5, 25 rupees. So, let's write 25 here in the column for selling price. Now, the third one, pencils. The cost price is 2 rupees. And the selling price is also 2 rupee. So the cost price and the selling price are the same. Is there a profit? No. Is there a loss? No. So let's see the next one. Pencil box. The cost price is 58 and the selling price is equal to rupees 66. How do you find out if it is a profit or loss? The selling price is more than the cost price. So obviously it will be a profit. So, you have to find out the amount yourself and complete the table by finding out either the cost price, selling price, profit or loss as required. So, let's see the next question. Question number 2. Mr. Desai sold a computer at a profit of rupees 3890. If the cost price of the computer is rupees 18,280, then what is its selling price? So, what is mentioned in the question? The cost price of the computer is rupees 18,280 and it is said that there was a profit of rupees 3,890 on selling it. So, for it to be profit, the selling price should be more than the cost price. We have to find out the selling price. So, the selling price will be rupees 3,890 more than the cost price that is 18,280. So let's see the steps. The first one, the cost price is equal to rupees 18,280 from the question. Then the profit is equal to rupees 3,890. So let's write the formula. The selling price is equal to the cost price plus profit. And that is equal to rupees 18,280 plus rupees 3,890. So let's do the addition in the working column. So here we have 0 plus 0. 0 here, 8 plus 9, 17, carry over 1, 2 plus 8, 10 plus 1, 11, again I carry over, 8 plus 3, 11 plus 1, 12, now I carry over here, 1 plus 1, 2, so what is the total amount, it is equal to 22,170, so the selling price is equal to rupees 22,170, Mr. Desai, sold his computer at a selling price of rupees 22,170. Hope this is clear to you. Now we'll see the next one. Uma bought furniture for rupees 30,400 and sold it for rupees 48,600. What is his gain or loss? Is it gain or loss? See, the selling price is more than the buying price or the cost price. So obviously it's a gain or profit. Now, how do we find out the amount of profit or the amount of gain? Let's see. 
the cost price is equal to rupees 30400 the selling price is equal to rupees 40600 and hence the profit will be equal to selling price minus cost price that is 48600 rupee minus 30400 rupees so let's do the calculation in the working column so here we have 0 minus 0 0 again 0 here 6 minus 4 equals 2 then 8 minus 0 8 here 4 minus 3 1 so what is the difference 18200 so the profit is equal to rupees 18200 hope this is clear to you now the next one Shalini bought a sandwich maker for rupees 1200 if she wants to make a profit of rupees 120 then at what price should she sell it so how do we find it so the buying price or the cost price is given us rupees 1200 and she wants to make a profit of rupees 120 so for Shalini to make a profit of 120 what should be the selling price the selling price should be 120 rupees more than the buying price that is 1200 so let's see the steps the cost price is equal to 1200 the profit required the profit she needs to make is equal to rupees 120 so the selling price should be equal to the cost price plus the profit needed so that is 1200 plus 120 and what is it see 0 plus 0 0 2 plus 0 2 1 plus 2 3 then 1 so what is the total amount it is equal to rupees 1320 so Shalini should sell the sandwich maker at rupees 1320 to get a profit of rupees 120 so hope this is clear to you now the next one if the cost of 8 bottles of mango juice is rupees 368 then find the cost of 11 similar bottles of mango juice so here we can apply the unitary method so what is mentioned 8 bottles of mango juice is 368 so from that we can find out what is the cost of one bottle of mango juice then we have to find out the cost of 11 such bottles of mango juice so let's see the steps cost of 8 bottles is equal to rupees 368 and hence the cost of one bottle is equal to the total value by the total number of units that is 368 by 8 and that is equal to rupees 46 so one bottle of mango juice will cost 46 rupees so cost of 11 bottles will be equal to 11 into cost of one bottle and that is 11 into rupees 46 and that is equal to how much this is equal to a total of 506 rupee so 11 bottles of mango juice will cost a total amount of 506 rupees hope this is clear to you a train can travel 342 kilometer in two hours how much distance can the train travel in five hours so the distance the train travels in two hours is given we have to find out the distance the train will travel in five hours how see from the distance the train travels in two hours we can find out how much is the distance it travels in one hour and then we can multiply that distance into five to get the distance traveled in five hours here also we are applying the unitary method so let's see the steps the distance traveled in two hours is equal to 342 kilometers and hence the distance traveled in one hour is equal to 342 divided by 2 that is equal to 171 kilometers so the distance traveled in 5 hours will be equal to 5 into the distance traveled in 1 hour that is 5 into 171 kilometers so what is the answer 5 into 171 kilometers is equal to see 5 ones are 5 5 sevens are 35 writing 5 here carrying over 3 to the next place then 5 ones are 5 plus 3 8 so the total is 855 kilometers so the train will travel a total distance of 855 kilometers in 5 hours so hope this is clear to you 
Now the next one. The cost price of a geyser is rupees 6543 and its selling price is rupees 7860. Find the profit or loss. Is it a profit or is it a loss? See the cost price is 6543 and the selling price is 7860 which is the bigger amount the selling price which means it is a profit or gain now how do we find it if we subtract the cost price from the selling price we get the profit so let's see the steps the cost price is equal to rupees 6543 and the selling price is equal to 7860 now the profit will be equal to the selling price minus the cost price so doing the calculation the working column here we have 0 minus 3 let's borrow from the next place making this 5 making this 10 so 10 minus 3 we have 7 5 minus 4 1 8 minus 5 3 and 7 minus 6 equals 1 so that is 1317 so the profit is equal to rupees 1317 so hope this is clear to you now let's see the next one this question has two parts part a and b let's see part a now tick the correct answer if the cost of 12 kilogram of detergent powder is rupees 5400 what will be the cost of 22 kilogram of detergent powder so how do we find it the cost of 12 kilogram of detergent is given so from this we can find out what is the cost of 1 kilogram of detergent powder and then we can easily find out the cost of 22 kilogram of detergent powder so let's see the steps the cost of 12 kilogram of detergent is equal to rupees 5400 so the total value is rupees 5400 and the cost of 1 kilogram of detergent is rupees 5400 divided by 12 which is equal to 450 rupees so 1 kilogram of detergent will cost 450 rupees so what is the cost of 22 kilograms it will be 22 into the cost of 1 kilogram that is cost of 22 kilogram is equal to 22 into cost of 1 kilogram that is equal to 22 into rupees 450 and that is equal to a total amount of rupees 9900 so 22 kilograms of detergent powder will cost an amount of nine rupees 9900 and look at the options which is the correct option it is option b so let's pick option b from the choices now moving to part b of question 8 if the cost price is equal to rupees 3427 and loss is equal to rupees 244 find selling price so the cost price is given the loss is given how do we find the selling price see for it to be a loss the selling price should be less than the cost price so something should be taken away from the cost price and that is the loss subtract the loss from the cost price and you get the selling price let's see the steps the cost price is equal to rupees 3427 and the loss is equal to rupees 244 so the selling price is equal to cost price minus loss applying the formula now that is rupees 3427 minus rupees 244 so subtracting the numbers we get the amount is equal to rupees 3183 so the selling price is rupees 3183 look at the choices the correct choice is choice number three so let's take choice number three in the textbook so children we have completed chapter 12 hope the concepts we learned in this chapter are clear to you and all the exercise are clear to you so all of you please go through all the concepts and all the exercise once again so that's all for today we'll start a new chapter in the next class till then bye